Hello everyone and welcome to another video and I wanted to start by saying that I have decided this year as I probably mentioned in my last video but that I am going to be doing a room I'm, I'm so sorry about the sun there's nothing I can do about it but it's fine but anyway I'm gonna be doing a room decorate with me I've come up with a few ideas of the sort of vibe and theme and colours that I want to do. So here is like what is on my mood board currently. And it's sort of like pinks, neutral tones. I still want to keep my pink theme because I, it's my colour, you know. I'm also going to be doing Arthur's bedroom as well. But I'm not too worried about the theming of his because it is like a sky hot air balloon theme i've already got a few pieces for it that i'll probably show you at some point but anyway i've decided today that i'm going to be redoing my wardrobe emptying it all out because the bottom of it is just full of so much stuff i am going to be making some cookies i think that i got for christmas from emily so i'm going to be doing that today as well if you're wondering arthur is obviously at nursery he is not with me right now just thought i'd bring you along with me today help me clean organize prep and yeah so i'm now in the kitchen um this is the cookie set that i'm going to be using to make some cookies today and yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you about the note in a minute and it is just these winnie the pooh sugar cookie baking kit it is that and emily put on it sorry i accidentally squashed it in my bag Emily, I can honestly tell you, you didn't actually squash it like at all. So it just says you need to add some butter, an egg, water, and I think that's it. But obviously I don't use egg. I've got an egg replacer in my cupboard and I'll be using margarine. So there's the packaging. And yeah, this is the cookie cutter it comes with. It's adorable. It's like, a, what is it? A beehive shape. That is adorable. Okay, so this is my vegan egg. I'll see if I can put the actual packet like here for you, but I like to keep everything looking nice in my cupboard. So that's why they are all in, everything's in a matching container. So, sort of like it thickens. I still need to mix it a bit more, but that's sort of what it looks like. So the... I know you should get it everywhere all over me, but I have mixed it, kneaded it, and now I'm going to roll it out. bedroom because again I'm redoing it all up all this is gonna go all the bit everything but I'm just doing the bits that I can do at the moment before I get like a bed and because I need a new bed I need a new chest of drawers all that so I'm just about to clean my wardrobe all my clothes in my wardrobe are actually all color co I can't even say it color coordinated um and i go through my clothes quite regularly so i only keep clothes that i actually wear and then the rest i normally sell on vintage or depop depending on what it is so that i do quite regularly my clothes have all been gone through everything i actually wear and now i'm just sorting out the bottom of my wardrobe which i will show you what that looks like it's yeah it's a mess <laughs> Excuse the horrible angle, but I'm about to show you some of the prints that I found on the back of my wardrobe because they are, I just forgot I had them. If you're a Beatles fan, this is all of their houses when they were young. I need to get these framed. I have a Florence Gibbon poster, you know, she is the um, writer, feminist writer. A woman on her own isn't waiting for you. All guests must be approved by the dog that's just a given a beautiful day begins with a beautiful mindset the stones and the beetles 
What's this one? Random Christopher Eccleston poster. Can't remember where I got that one from, but it's Picasso. And we have Here Comes the Sun. This one was one of mine from when I did this sort of thing. So obviously I'm not going to use it because it doesn't look great, but it is a thing I'm in love with myself. It's a two-parter one. I've got more. If you don't, if you want to be my lover, you better not eat my friends. I think that one's probably one of my favourites. And then these we um collect in France because it looks like myself and Mr. Charles. And that one looks like Arthur. But I don't know if it's going to... Yeah, I could, I've got a few more of those. But all of these are just pictures that I am eventually going to frame and put up when I have my own house. But they aren't going here. In fact, I'm going to take a lot of pictures down in here. We're just going to excuse the hideous lighting situation. I had a lovely shower whilst I put the cookies in the fridge. And then I put them in the, in the freezer, in the oven. And they are ready, I think. Oh, they... The smell reminds me sort of like um, school. You know the Pudsy Bear Biscuits? Did anyone else have Pudsy Bear Biscuits during like Children in Need? Well, they smell like those. And I couldn't eat them growing up because I had a milk allergy. So the, like, that smell always, always reminds me of like delicious cookies because I always walk past and think, oh, I wish I could have them. Now, I've made some and they smell just like it. And honestly, I cannot wait to eat them, so. So I'm just making my dinner and I'm on like this health journey thing at the moment. So I thought I'd show you what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. Arthur is already in bed fast asleep. He was so tired after nursery. He, had, he hadn't napped all day. So literally I got him home and he was just like out. So um, I'm actually having the energizing green stir fry. Let me show you. So this is what I'm having for dinner. It is the Energizing Green Stir Fry from one of my favorite cookbooks. It is the Self Care Cookbook. I love this. It smells absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to have it. That is pretty much what I'm gonna do tonight and then I'll probably go to bed and watch, I don't know. This is the finished um, product. I overcooked a little bit for spinach, which is a little bit annoying, but it tastes amazing. So if you haven't guessed, today is a new day. It is about quarter to two, and Arthur is having his nap. He's been asleep for about half an hour. So I thought I would quickly jump on and show you what I found on Vinted. Now, I know you can buy this on TikTok shops, but I like trying, like, if there's a way of going secondhand, I will always try and go secondhand. That is what I have done. It's like different colours, different coloured cards in it. Dog, that's like it was meant to be. Okay, and this goes in like this. Dog. Pen. Yeah. I think Pen. I think that's actually really clever. Dog. And what if we turn it to get hen? What about that? You get that hen? Hen. That is literally the dream. Fold out heated clothes era. I have just spotted these. And I don't know if you saw earlier, but Arthur's theme for his bedroom is like 
um, hot air balloon cloud theme. So these look really good to suit the theme. If you don't have the BNO app, you should go and get it because you can scan as you shop and it tells you like the price of it, it, you know, if it's in the sale and how much it is now or, you know, because sometimes the labels don't match up to the price. So if you're ever unsure, get the app and you can literally scan it in store. That's what Emily might do for me. Like this, seven pounds and yeah, this is 15. They've got their Easter stuff here and they even do little plastic plates and egg cups for babies. I mean, none of it is vegan, unfortunately. So good morning again. It is now Wednesday and Arthur and I, this morning we are off to Hive. Why did I say it like that? I don't know, but we're off to Hive, okay? And that is simply because they have this, um, oh, what are they called? Like, baby toddler village things i don't know what they're called so it's where babies get to explore shops and i think what else is there cafe hairdresser yeah hairdresser all sorts for babies to walk around and role play basically now arthur is a little bit young to role play so we're just going there for him to have a little bit of an explore i know he's going to absolutely love I'll tell you now, he's going to love the supermarket. Good morning, sir. How may I serve you? Is that one scoop or two? Do you want the strawberry? Do you want the cone or do you just want a, a dollop, a scoop? Cone. everyone firstly i want to apologize and say sorry yes i have skipped two days and we are now on saturday but we have spent the morning in bed watching tally tubbies sort of thing if half is happy i don't mind and then we've just been to the local farm shop and i bought us a cherry pie i read the ingredients from, from what i saw it was vegan and I will double check it when I get home. If it's not, I'll obviously give it to my sister. And yeah, that'd be nice. And I just thought as a treat, we would go to the Otter and Owl Center. It's not called that anymore, what's it called? New Forest Wildlife Park, I think it's called now. 
it's just Arthur and I today and I'm so excited because obviously Arthur can walk now so I'm gonna let him like trot about a little bit where it's safe obviously. Let's go. This is actually what I like about the Otter, it's not called that anymore, the New Forest Wildlife Park is that they do rescue and instead of being like a zoo for example, which would just, I don't know, like, or like SeaWorld, stuff like that. Off to the deer enclosure. Okay, I'm gonna reverse it. So I didn't spot any deers yet in the deer enclosure, but wild boars you can see them from the distance they get a zoom in a bit what are they buffalo in the background i can't see very well last time i was here there were red deers really close like up to the fence but maybe it's the time of day that i've arrived they're not here at the moment if you get here for 12 noon there is a keeper talk and I bet you anything they'll be out at that time. Yeah, they've got fallow deer as well. And when I was here last, they were like going under the fence. One is just in front of us right there. There's another one. So we had a really nice time at the New Forest Wildlife Park and now I keep calling it the Otter and Owl Centre which is like what it was called when I was really young myself, like a baby myself. I just thought I would show you on a change of subject what we got from Longdown Farm Shop which is just like down the road from the New Forest Wildlife Park. See what goodies we got so i already got this one out it is some strawberries and look how big they are arthur's favorite fruit so i have to it's like a constant in the fridge about that and blueberries which i did also get blueberries too of course and yep yeah, those are a must in our house some classic oat milk chocolate plant-based made in britain so i also got some vegan chocolate and this is because i got this in oldie what am i say it is some vegan chocolate flavor brownie mix and i thought i would make it extra like um chocolatey by putting in some vegan chocolate so that's why i got some there we go now I did read the ingredients and from what I could see it was vegan. I am gonna look now again. Yes, yeah, so I've looked. This is vegan as well, which is a lovely treat. I mean, look at that cut for Arthur. He is going to absolutely love this. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit for him. And here's a little snack pot for Arthur. So he's just having some carrot, hummus, and some crisps, he's already had a half a packet already. And for my snack, I'm just having the same as Arthur. I have already eaten a lot of it, but and obviously a bit on the side. I'm just having carrot and hummus and some apple pie as well. I just wanna say, I apologize if you can hear my dog snoring in the background, but I do have a Mrs. Sweep here, right here. And an Arthur, obviously. But obviously I'm not gonna end this video with just nothing. So I thought I'd come on and say a huge thank you for watching. It is a little bit longer. It was a little bit longer than my normal videos. Sorry if the camera is wobbling a bit. Thank you, Arthur. Dog. Yeah, dog.
But yeah, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for watching. And please don't forget to hit that like button if you did like this video. Let me know if you like the longer ones as well. Or you want to keep to my like shorter videos. Please don't forget to subscribe because it really does help me out. And every time that number goes up by one, my face lights up, I swear. Yeah, and uh, this is where I'm going to end the video. And I will see you all very soon in the next video.